In many ways, this mass symbolized the pain the Shrine of the True Cross has gone through. And then the water started rising. And so that's Saturday night, Sunday morning. Everything's underwater. Tuesday sometime, the waters went down. It was a lot of emotion, a lot of, um, what do you do next? It's a question both David LeCompte and Michael Dunn found themselves asking after Harvey sent feet of water inside. He spent hours helping the Dickinson Parish rebuild. No, he didn't envision we'd be in here yet. If you saw what this looked like the days after the flood, it is a, it is just a blessing from God. Their prayers answered as the flooded church expanded with new pews, walls, and altar. I think this is our home. You know, this is our, our church, our parish. It is now. Tonight, Cardinal Daniel DiNardo dedicated the church, blessing members, the walls, and new altar. But their prayers aren't all answered. And then in between the two rooms here, there were 600 chairs set. And every single chair was blown over. I saw water flow. The parish's school is still months away from reopening. When it does, both the church and school will be brand new. Hallelujah. A storm that may have been a blessing this parish needed. You know, maybe it's St. Harvey now. Nick Notario, 13 Eyewitness News.